This is the story of 354 yards and six touchdowns. This is the story of Mr. Biscuit's big game. Mitchell Trubisky wastes no time rushing for 23 yards on the first drive of the game, then airing it out to Trey Burton for a 39-yard touchdown. Head coach Matt Nagy with the congratulatory helmet tap, and it worked. Jason Pierre-Paul seen here trying to scare him, but that didn't work. Trubisky connects with Allen Robinson for a 14-yard score on a throw so perfect that Robinson tried to replicate it, chucking the ball 15 yards deep into the crowd. Why 15? Because Trubisky was 7 for 9 for 232 yards and two touchdowns on throws of 15 yards or more Sunday. In his first three games of the year, he'd been just 5 for 18 with no touchdowns on those throws. On the next drive, it was Tariq Cohen's turn. Trubisky moves the Bears into the red zone with a 35-yard pass to his speedy back, then hits him again for a 9-yard touchdown. Cohen celebrates with a flip in front of one of his offensive linemen, seen here thinking, I probably can't do that. Trubisky is humming now, still in the first half, another one. This time a 20-yard touchdown to Josh Bellamy, who turns it into a TV infomercial pitch. For two easy payments of 1995, you can have this game used football. Look at the way it sticks to your hand. Sold. Taylor Gabriel had a big game, a career best 104 yards, including this diving 30-yarder. And Trubisky kept using his legs, here scrambling for 26 yards before hitting Gabriel for a short touchdown pass at the goal line. First of two touchdowns on the day for Gabriel. That's right, two. Trubisky had never thrown more than two touchdowns in an NFL game, but Sunday he threw five in the first half and became the second youngest player ever to throw six in one game. You may remember the youngest, Patrick Mahomes, from our week two recap. All of this proves you can have your biscuit and eat it too. The end.